Hello and welcome back if you're new here. My name is Adriana and today I wanted to take you on my journey of watering this plant shelf right here because it's in desperate need of some watering. Not only that but in desperate need of a cleaning too. So my husband thinks watering videos are boring but I find them relaxing and soothing especially if like I myself want to be productive but don't have the motivation. I personally love watching videos of people doing their chores because it makes me feel like I accomplished something when I didn't. But also maybe motivates me to actually do chores. So anyway, ramble. So I just wanted to do a nice relaxing watering video today. I'm going to burn some incense. I'm going to be drinking some good beer. And it's just going to be chill. Might be like chill music on my talk. I don't know yet. We'll see how it is. But before we do that, I have to get rid of all these plants. You see? They have a lot of them. No, I actually like, I'm wearing clothes today. I always wear clothes. People wear clothes, but I like I'm talking about like real adult clothes, not a t-shirt or a hoodie and like leggings. I'm like wearing like jeans, I'm wearing jeans. It was a nice, it was like a beautiful 50 degrees in Illinois today so of course like I had to go outside because 50 degrees might not sound very warm maybe depending on where you live but in Illinois right now 50 degrees it feels like summer because we have been having like bitter cold weather so this temperature rise is just welcome by us all so I like I put on makeup I got dressed and I went outside and it was wonderful but anyway Let's let's start clearing these shelves. All the shelves. Well, wasn't that fun? So eventually, I'm gonna clean these shelves uh, because they're very dirty. I think I already said that. But usually, I just like walk back and forth between my kitchen, which is over there, and these shelves. But just for the sake of the video, I put everything on my kitchen table. Just wait till you see what that looks like. My island is jam-packed with all the plants that need watering. It looks kind of cool actually. Okay, so I'm going to be watering my plants in the sink and having them dry off over here. Um, I did not fully prepare. Okay, I think I prepared better this time. I got some containers. These are just uh, takeout containers that I washed out and that I reused that I put plants in when I'm watering just so um, they can drain a little bit more. And then I have my, what is it? The Plant Mist Orchid um, Fertilizer Plant Mist, which is supposed to help Hoyas, and I spray it on my Hoyas. So let's get this watering started. Oh, and I have my incense burning back here. I don't know if you can tell. It's lavender. I love lavender. Let's get going. Oh, I forgot my beer. No. Here we go. And what I really love about sink watering is that you're really able to like really rinse off your plant, which doesn't a hundred percent prevent pests, but it's like, it's just a nice thing to do. It rinses them off. You can rinse off some pests that might be on there, maybe help you avoid like a huge outbreak. It's just a nice preventative. It's not a hundred percent guaranteed to work, but it's just nice to do. Oh, and I also have this, um, drain catcher because since I am watering in my sink I don't want leaves or just like big chunks of soil to go down my drain so I use these to help not clog my drains I know it's not a hundred percent effective because small particles still can get through these but it, it helps it helps it does Looking syngonium. Probably take off a few of these like yellowing leaves. Okay, no, never mind. 
never mind, it doesn't want to come off. So that is the bottom shelf of plants done. I'm gonna stick a lot of these in some of these containers or even back in their catch pots and to let them further drain and everything and then on to the next shelf. Philodendron McCoy's finale. It's so underwatered. I feel so bad. Like, look, look at this leaf right here. Ugh. Ugh. You're getting watered now, though. Sorry. Then I did have a Hoya, so I'm going to spray it with this. This one too. So far when I've used this, I haven't noticed that it like it negatively affects any of the other plants. So I just spray it liberally um, wherever they are. <laughs> know what is up with my philodendron lichens in soil. It just has not been happy for quite a while. I repotted it um, into something smaller into new soil to thinking that would help but I don't know if maybe I'm not watering it enough but like see this crispy leaf here. Let's pluck that out. It's another one over there. Pluck that out. Not two more. Cool. Well, and it really makes me sad that this isn't doing well because it used to be so gorgeous. Luckily, I do have one in Lekka that's growing pretty well. So if anything, I can just like chop and prop this one, but I really wish it would bounce back because I mean, it used to be so beautiful, but the leaves are curling in and that's what makes me believe that I'm not watering it enough, but we shall see. Look at this sad. This is a jade pothos. Ugh, it just hates me. <laughs> Don't know why. Crazy silver school. I love how crazy this is. Don't you? It's just so nuts. Love it. the soil plants that were on my shelf have been watered. Now the only thing left to do is go over my plants that are in Lekka. Now they, all, all of them, need a flush and need nutrients but it's kind of late and I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flush them but then I'm just going to give them water and super thrive because I have that mixed up already. And I should kind of carry them over um, to when I can give them nutrients again. Okay, because it's um, the scariest, let's start with my spiral cactus that's in Lekka. I actually have been looking for a spiral cactus for a really long time, and I can 
could never just pull the trigger on one because they were very expensive, but this one was grown in Lekka, and so it was offered at a cheaper price because I think Lekka still isn't like widely popular. So um, I just jumped the gun, I bought it, and it's been doing great in Lekka, so no complaints. But yeah, I do need, like if you can see, there are, if you can see some of like the mineral deposits up here, the white parts, so that needs to be flushed. And then because it's in a clear container and like pretty much in direct sunlight, algae does grow. So I'm gonna clean this up to here too. It's just getting it, getting it out of here. That's the scary part. And then I also think like, I wanna repot it soon because look at the, like the roots have grown so much, but they're just sitting in water. So they're getting kind of, you see that they're getting kind of mushy. So I think I might repot this soon too. But definitely we're gonna rinse it right now. Here and I'll fill them with Super Thrive later. So you can tell this one is not as bad. You still see some um, of the Lekka balls with the mineral deposits, but honestly not that bad. I think I could not flush it right now, but I'm in the process, so I'm going to do it. And then what it was in, which is, this is my favorite dip. This is Dean's French onion dip, delicious. I could eat this whole jar in one sitting, which is why I don't buy it often, because I have no self-control and I would. But anyway, it has some grossness on the bottom, so we're gonna we're gonna clean that too. Oof. This is a Hoya Carii that I got in a winter swap trade and oh fuck. Oh well that's why. Mm. See that right there? That's this little white thing. I think it might be a mealy bug. Are you a mealy bug? I don't know. I don't. Mm, I don't see anything else. Maybe it wasn't a mealy bug. But anyway, it's not doing great. Uh, but I think I can contribute this to me always forgetting to fill up its water vessel like this one is so thirsty it drinks up the water so fast but I'm so bad at replenishing it I think that's why it's not doing its greatest but I think it's doing better than it would be in soil for me so we shall continue with Lekka and hope for the best oh it's looking a little hot let's burn the plants with hot water Last one. This one has needed a rinse day for so long. Like, look at all of that chemical, chemical, no, mineral buildup on the Lekka balls. And this is, um, what are you? A Dyschidia dragon something? Something like that. on my shelf have had a good rinse and now it's just time to fill them up with some super thrive until I will mix up more nutrients to fill them up with later but again right now I'm too lazy for that okay so I'm all finished watering 
my plants on my plant shelf and now it is time to clean said plant shelf because it is very dirty. <laughs> So the shelves are cleaner. They're not like perfectly clean. I could have definitely done a better job, but they're cleaner than they were. So we're going to count that as a win. The plants have been watered. They are training. They're doing great. So all is left is to put everything back. Hmm. Let's do this the fast way. That's all done. Plants watered, like a plants taken care of, a uh, shelf clean dish, plants put back. Awesome. We're done. The last thing I want to do is I want to show you some plants that I picked up at Grow Geneva today uh, because like I said, I had to just go outside because it was so beautiful. So hold on because of course I left the bag all the way over there before I hit record. <laughs> The bag. All right, let me show you what I got. So let's spill the beer first. Oh, is another Sands of Area. Dracaena. I'm not calling it Dracaena. It's a Sands of Area, like the Sears Tower. It's not. It's the Sears Tower. It's not a Willis Tower. Whatever tower it is now, it's Sears Tower. Anyway, this is a type of Sands of Area fernwood, and it's. It's just so cool. I love it. And yeah, I just saw it and I was like, this is mine. I had to have it. So, so excited about this one. Second plant. It's a Hoya. Hmm. This is a Hoya. Uh, okay. I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name. Hoya Patchulata. Patchulata. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, Grow like had this advertised on shipment day, which was like Tuesday, I think. And I saw it and I'm like, oh my God, I need want that. It looks so awesome. So I called, I got the price and they're like, just call the next day um, and pay for it, reserve it, and you can come pick it up whenever. And it's just been such a hectic week at work, just hectic work year in general I completely forgot and so when we were in the area and I went in to grow I was like please have some and I got the last one so yay I was so happy it's meant to be but anyway like these leaves are so thick and they are the slightest bit fuzzy so I'm I'm very excited to see uh, what this will become but look oh Okay, I got one more plant from Grow Geneva. One more. And it is a Hoya Wyattii. I believe this is a Wyattii. Um, I got one of these in the winter swap, the Hoya winter swap that I participated in on Facebook, but there were only cuttings. And so I had uh, the, the other Hoya, the Patchulata, and my Sansevieria, and I was checking out and I was talking with Laura, the owner, and I saw this in the background. I'm like, oh, Laura, you have that? That's so awesome. You know, it's so cool. I love, I love the, can you see the, um, how it's darker on the outside? 
like the ridges are darker i just think that's so cool anyway i was like oh it's beautiful that's awesome and she brought it and she's like oh what do you think it is and so we're discussing back and forth and i could not for the life of me remember that this is a yadi i thought it was like a cantana or something anyway so i was gonna <laughs> go check out and she's like well do you want it I'm like are you serious yes i'll take it it's beautiful hoya it's beautiful there are some leaves with some like you see this leaf right here with some spots on it but not too concerned overall it's a beautiful plant so this was a, a happy little bonus plant that i was not expecting to get but I'm very happy i did okay that's it for today thank you so much for joining me today i hope you found this video relaxing a nice like easygoing chill watering video I hope you have a great rest of your week, your day, your month, your life. I just hope it all goes well for you. See you next time. Cheers.